A19. Tyler Breakfast. Subtitle Colored. TMZ.com. Hashtag Verse TV A19A. Tyler. No quote colored end quote talk on Breakfast Club. Tries to clarify afterward. Grammy Award winning South African born singer Tyla finds herself at the crossroads of a bubbling race controversy. It all came to a head on the Breakfast Club, but she opted to plead the fifth. This is Tyla, and this video is from three years ago, if not four. And I am pretty sure many of you didn't even know who Tyla was back then. The poor girl mentioned here she was also mixed with black. Hands off Tyla, please let her be. Hashtag colored, hashtag black, hashtag Tyla, hashtag trendingpick.twitter.com slash mhivktm dot. Non pumalelo, lila le lag my loan. June 13th, 2024, lila le lag mail. All the chatter about her race and ethnicity started when fans discovered a TikTok Tyla made years ago. Before her water song became an internationally known double platinum smash, where she celebrated her mixed heritage and labeled herself a proud colored South African woman. Charlemagne the God gave Tyla the floor to clarify the remark, but she bottled up and her publicist requested the question be struck from the record. Tyla's silence did her no favors. Okay. I love the song Water, though. I've been playing that a lot, just like I've been playing How Am I Supposed to Live Without You, the original 1988 LP version. Anyway, but yes. So as for... Mm, it seems our global humanity loves our boxes. We love being able to put people in boxes. The sun. Nope. I can't reach it. So I'm sorry. You're just going to see this thing on my face, but whatever. The global humanity seems to love our boxes. We love being able to put people and things into boxes. And I remember when Mariah Carey went on George Lopez's show. Because remember back in the day when George Lopez had a show like late 90s, maybe early 2000s? And one of the questions that he asked her right off the bat was, hey, so Mariah Carey, after all of these years, what's your race? It was like, it, that felt like such an interesting question for Queen Mariah Carey at that point in her career. But I feel that she had a great answer. They prob I'd like to think they discussed it before the show, and she was like, okay, I've got an answer for that. But what she said was she's like, and just simply put, so perfectly, in this country, I'm black. And it's like, oh, that's so true because people don't understand. Race is a social construct. And I've heard people debate this in different positions and say, no, like I actually remember watching some video on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, where somebody actually broke it down and they were like, no, race is not a social construct. Race is a real dang thing. It's really, it's really real. And I was like, hmm, okay. And the reason that I'll even emphasize my saying that race is a social construct is because of the fact that it varies by society. It varies from country to country, was one race or another. And again, like Mariah Carey said so perfectly, she's like, yeah, in this country, I'm black. Emphasis on the fact that she's referencing this country, because yes, uh, yeah.
Yeah, I I didn't. I've been learning, right? I think I'm going to. Anyway, but yes, I've been learning things. And over the years, I realize some things later than others that race is not the same in every single country. It's not. I remember, remember, I remember this one woman at my previous position at the job back when we were all in our 20s, the whole department, we were not the whole department, but a lot of us were in our 20s. Some people were in our 30s and 40s, and I think even 50s. But what, what, whatever. I sounded like a DJ. What, 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 whatever. Anyway, oh my gosh, let me stop. So many tangents. But yes, I remember this one woman was, she was a little brown woman from Panama, right? And there was this white skinned dude from Puerto Rico. And she was like, and I still remember, I was like, that's interesting. She's like, yes, I want to let you know, name that I will not reveal. In my country, he would be considered a white man. Yes. And I remember the Puerto Rican guy was like, what are you even talking about? And, and this is what he said. He was like, I'm glad I'm from Puerto Rico, where we don't have to deal with that kind of stuff. I, I, I'm just who I am, whatever. And do some research, people. I won't go into all of it right here and now, here and now. I won't go into all of it right here and now. But. There is a reason that Puerto Rico is not quite the same as just everywhere else in terms of race and racial classifications and that stuff. Anyway, people love to divide themselves around the globe no matter what, but race is not the same thing in Puerto Rico. Anyway, he... Yeah, you know, I remember this, and, and this goes back to people being classified differently in different places. Because I remember when I was learning and falling in love with Nollywood and like watching everything Nollywood that I possibly could, there was this one Nollywood film called White Hunters. And I was like, oh, okay, what's this? And it turns out the movie White Hunters was about Nigerian women, black Nigerian women, who specifically date exclusively white men or hunt for white men. That's why it was called White Hunters. Why do I bring this up? One of the guys, and I remember watching it, and I was like, okay, so this woman, she's just with a black man, but I guess he's a little bit lighter. And then I realized, oh, according to that movie, White Hunters, he's actually playing a white man because classifications differ. And I'm like, wow, he's just a light-skinned black man. You know, like if he was in America, 